Well, welcome back to the game, everyone. This is Robert finishing up my kind of learn and play project here with Conquest of Neroth. The Human Kingdoms are up next, the Narothan League. As we begin the turn, I think I'm going to use my deck of many things. And it says I can look at the top two event cards and put one of them on the bottom. Well, since this is my first playthrough of the game, I really just need to draw two cards at random. Since this deck is not shuffled. I'll look at them and see which one I want to draw during my draw step. First one is Ice Storm. Uh, this is before a wizard attacks. Two additional first strike D12 attack dice. That's really good. And Sustained Push. You play after you conquer a land space. You can immediately attack one adjacent enemy land space with any pieces in the conquered space. That might allow us to get some extra victory points. I'm gonna have to think about this. Both of these are good cards. I think I'm gonna go with Ice Storm. So that's gonna go on top. This one will go on the bottom. During my draw phase, this is what I'm drawing. So I've got Ice Storm. For movement, I'm gonna start with this dragon. I'm gonna fly off here, go one, two, three. I'm going to, or should I attack this fighter? That would be even the better choice, wouldn't it? Let's attack the lone fighter there. Up here at the top of the map, we'll move our wizards and these two fighters into the dungeon. With the luck of the dice, you never know. Dragon, one, two, three. Taking on another dragon and two iron golems. This dragon's gonna try something tricky. One, two, three. He's gonna go in and attack the capital in a desperate attempt to gain five victory points. For our last move, I think I'm going to have this group make an assault on this castle up there. So we're going to have a foot soldier come in, and a wizard, and a dragon. I think I also may have this stone giant move one, two spaces, and join that battle. And I think I can have the storm elemental join from this uh, water spot one, two spaces as well. All right, time to fight the battle. Let's see what's in the dungeon. Two monsters are gonna be in here. And they are Ettons and Goblins. Ettons and Goblins. I've got two wizards and two fighters attacking, but I think this is where I want to use Ice Storm and add two additional D12s as first strike dice here. Let's see if we can do some damage to these creatures. Wizards are attacking. The wizards get two kills. Well, that would take out the goblins. Now we have to deal with the Ettons. So, the fighters. We've got two fighters and two Ettons. Let's let them battle it out. Well, the fighters just got two kills. The Ettons got one. So we actually did it. We actually defeated them. But we lost somebody. Uh, that's going to be one of the fighters for sure. But there is a victory. 
All right, it's time to draw a treasure card. Let's hope it's something that's worth two victory points. No, it's worth one. Gauntlets of Ogre Power. Play at any time. Your fighters gain run amok. <laughs> All right, well, we'll take it and play it. And let's see, Ice Storm is used. We'll put that in the discard. But uh, there we go. That gets us one victory point. Human Kingdoms go up to nine. This battle is almost a suicide run, but um, I do have a little card here. Dragon Lore. And it allows for the enemy dragon to suffer a point of damage right away. So we're going to turn that dragon over. We're still at a huge disadvantage, though. All right, the attacking dragon gets a kill with a 19. The enemy dragon and the two golems fight back. And they get three <laughs> kills. So... A golem is destroyed, but so is the dragon. A failed endeavor. All right, this little dragon is going for the quick kill against the fighter. Let's see what happens here. Kill and a hit. The dragon is wounded, but uh, the fighter is out. All right, the humans claim that territory and go up to 10 points. All right, we've got a chaotic mess up there. Let me see what I'm going to be rolling. I'm going to be rolling a d12 for the stone giant, a d20 for the attacking dragon, a d6 for the foot soldier, a d8 for the elemental, a first strike d10 for the wizard, and I think that does it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. All right, here goes the first strike for the wizard. And we get a 10. So that takes out one of the enemy pieces out of that big pile. Well, I would say let's, uh, let's let the dragon take a hit. That's what I would do. Keeps everybody in there fighting. Here goes the rest of the offense. One, two, three kills. One, that was a seven, two, and whatever that was, but that's three kills. That one was a failure. All right, defense. What do we have defending up there? Well, we've got a dragon. That's a d20. And we'll put that in the cup. We've got a dragon d20 fighting. And then we've got a d12. All right, so I'm going to have to roll two d20s and a d12. Let's see how this goes for the defense. One kill, nothing, another d20, kill. So two kills for the defense, three kills for the offense, two kills for the defense. Well, let's see what happens there. Two kills for the defense. No, three kills for the defense. Three kills for the defense. That turns them all, or actually conquers the space. Two kills for two kills for the defense. So our team is still there and has just conquered that space getting us a victory point. 
And it's a shame we don't have any fighters there to run amok. Not that they really have anywhere to go. All those spaces are occupied, but up to 11 victory points. All right, it, it's all coming down to this. The humans are attacking the capital city of the Dark Empire of Karkoth with a dragon. So we're going to have a d20 attacking, a d20 and a d12 in defense. Let's see what we can do. Got to clear out these dead bodies here. The attacking dragon gets a kill with a six. Now, the defense, I'm going to put a one there. The defense gets two kills. The effort has failed. The dragon can take two hits, manages to kill the zombie hulk, but the dragon is destroyed and the undead capital remains standing. Well, if I could have pulled that off, it would have tied the game. We would have gotten one, two, three, four, five. I believe that's correct. Five points for taking an enemy, enemy, uh, enemy capital. And then if there is a tie at the end of a round, the game would go an additional round until someone uh, gets the victory. But we didn't do it. So in the end, the Undead Empire wins the game. Actually, I expected the humans to end up in second place, but they were ended up last. Uh, a surprise there. I never expected the Iron Circle to get second place, but they did. And the elves came in third. Well, you can kind of see them there. The skeleton warriors of the Dark Empire of Karkoth. They have uh, won the game. Just a few comments here at the end. Uh, the game was enjoyable. Uh, I know I made a few mistakes along the way. A couple of things I did learn. Um, when you are moving along and you come into an enemy space, if you are going to take that enemy space, let's say there's nobody there, you have to come to a full stop. Uh, you can't just keep your figure moving. Let's say if they have a movement rate of two or three, you can't just start flipping over those areas to uh, your own territory. You have to stop uh, as soon as you claim that area for your own. Um, I think I finally made sense of the uh, ship rules and how bridging works and transporting pieces work. Uh, I think the thing that uh, to do there is to uh, keep it centered on the ship's actions and don't get caught up in what the the player pieces are doing. Uh, basically, just keep it keep your thoughts on what the ship is doing and how it's spending its turn. And uh, I learned that luck, just the, the die rolling itself, makes a big difference in how things will come out. Uh, we certainly saw that with the, the Iron Circle. And the Undead Empire had one, if not two, great turns. The die rolls really went uh, their way. But uh, an enjoyable game. Some people have compared this to Risk. Others have compared it to Axis, oh, it's Axis and Allies. I've never played that one. But um, anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this chance at taking a look at, uh, at this board game. This was the last one in the collection that I needed to pick up, and I had a good time with it. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you with, for some more uh, Dungeons & Dragons fun very soon.